Take a look and see what's please, going on here. Please, just pull it out. Pull it We're out, please. I'm not going to do that, but I want to see what's going on here. Okay, just, please, just, okay. Can you just So it looks like we've got a prolapsed umbilical cord. Can I get some uh, sanitary napkins? Uh, Man, what we need to do, we don't want you pushing right now. We're going to get you the hospital. I'm going to push. I'm going to push. No, no, no. We're not going to push. push. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, some saline solution and get this band. And I'm going to hold this here. And we're going to get you to the hospital. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Can you just pull it no, out? No pushing. Oh, no, please we're not going to do that. Out. We're going to get you to the hospital. They're going to take care of you. I'm locked on here holding this because okay. it's a prolapse. Right. So there's something else. So with that, how can you take small panting breaths? Okay. So if I'm panting, um, I'm not going to bear down. It's, it's, I could fight that contraction a little better, just taking a little breath. Um, what position do you want me in? We don't want your legs up like this, right? We don't, don't want your legs up. up, no. This is the one of the two times you're actually going to stick your fingers in the vaginal opening. And this one, it's where you're going to actually put your fingers on each side. So the best position is the knee chest position. But this is cool. I'm in the car, right? Bring your gurney up. I can crawl right up onto it. Puts me in that position. So you're literally going to get me up on my all fours. Take your finger on each side of that big head, on each side of the cord, and push that big head off the cord. Okay. While you're there, too, but as soon as you see that covering with your bare hand, or not your bare hand, but your gloved hand, keep it from drying, and you're, you're perfect. You got some sterile saline on a, a trauma pad, but when we checked pulse, when we found it, there was no pulse. So now, Go ahead, put your fingers on there, put some pressure, and we're going to check, and you get a pulse back. Okay. So we know it didn't dry and shut down, it was positional. Now what are you going to do? We still want to get you to the hospital, and I want to keep solution on this so it doesn't dry mm -hmm. out. Exactly. Monitor that pulse, keep her in this position. Um, oh my gosh, I just had knee surgery. I can't do this. I can't do this. What's the time be? Hospital is not far. Um, I don't know. What's the best? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here. So plan B, W amputee or she can't be on her knee for whatever reason. What we're gonna do, so you're stuck there, but we're gonna actually place her on her left side and put a bunch of blankets or stuff so you still have this gravitational pull. Mm -hmm. So we want her hips as high as possible. Just having it, notice the baby draws back in. That's what we wanna accomplish here. Let gravity be our friend and disengage that head and that way we can uh, help to get pressure off that cord. Now you just have to keep that baby from coming out. That's your job. Just don't let that baby come out. Yeah. Keep that pressure. Okay. One ride. So. Yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. so that's where you're going to be all the way to the